Hello friends, in the last set of videos we learned how to find solution of linear equation of two variables with the help of graph. Let us take some more examples. I love football, both playing as well as watching the game on TV. If we kick a football with more force, it will go faster. Right? We have more chances of making a goal. According to Newton's second law of motion, if you remember, acceleration A is equal to applied force by mass that is A equal to F by M say the mass of football is 200 grams say we are using a small football so mass M equal to 200 grams A equal to F by 200 so we have two variables here acceleration A and force F for a mass of 200 gram so let us draw the graph Force F is on the x-axis and acceleration A is on y-axis. Say 1000 dyan force is working on the football. For force F equal to 1000 dyan, acceleration would be 1000 by 200 F by M, which is equal to 5 centimeter per second square. Let us mark this point F equal to 1000 and A equal to 5 centimeter per second square. That is 1000 comma 5 point on the graph. For force F equal to 1200 dyan, acceleration A will be 1200 by 200 which is equal to 6 cm per second square. Let us mark this point with F equal to 1200 and A equal to 6 cm per second square that is 1200,6. For force F equal to 2000 dyan, acceleration A will be 2000 by 200 which is equal to 10 cm per second square. So let us mark the point 2000,10. If we join these points, we will get a straight line which represents the graph for this equation A equal to F by 200. Notice this graph passes through origin that is 0, 0, point. Means when force F is 0, then acceleration A would be 0, 2. So this graph reminds us the Newton's first law of motion means object would not accelerate or its state of motion would not be changed unless an unbalanced force is applied. So no net force means no acceleration. Does all graph of linear equation passes through origin? No. Let us find out which ones. Let us recall the formula again. A equal to F by M where F is plotted on X axis and acceleration A is plotted on Y axis. So we can write it as ma equal to f or f minus ma equal to 0. If we compare it to ax plus by plus c equal to 0 form, we can say the constant term c is equal to 0 in this equation. So if c is equal to 0, then the graph of that linear equation will pass through origin or 0, 0 point like f minus ma equal to 0. That's all in this video. Bye-bye.